welcome back. I hope you're all keeping well. I'm filming in a slightly different format today. So let me know if you like it. And excuse me, I'm a bit of a sweaty mess. I've just come from the gym. But I've got a few hours this morning. Um, I actually came down here yesterday and just had a really good, like, tidying session of, like, the beds. There were so many weeds in them. And, like, my brassicas, you could barely see what was a brassica and beetroot and what was a weed. So I just, I stuck the Formula One on and just went round every bed, as many as I could, and just really tidied up. I really hope you can hear me. I might stick my headphones in in a minute, actually. Um, and see if the sound is better but they're obviously doing some building work um let me just check the order quick okay so it's not too bad it's fine um but yeah so i went around yesterday just had a really good tidy up of everything um all of the beds just just enough so i could see exactly like what was in there where was what was where um and also how much room i've got left because that's mainly my reason for getting rid of the weeds. I think if I had more room, I wouldn't be too bothered by them. Um, and I'm never going to get rid of them all. It just, it is what it is. So um, I can just do my best in like autumn and things to suppress them. But if I can't get rid of them all, I can't get rid of them all. But um, made a really good dent in getting a lot of the bindweed out. There was a lot of it yesterday. But we made really good progress so um excuse me if i keep looking down it's because of the ants um they seem to be everywhere but um yeah it's coming on really well actually now that i can kind of see how much room i've got um i'm pretty happy with with things there are a couple of things that i've just sown a couple of extra seeds at home just in case like things like the parsnips um i I'm just really concerned I'm not going to get any this year. They don't seem to be germinating properly. So what I've done at home, I've got like a, a little tray that I've just scattered loads of them in. Um, and hopefully I can just prick them out like I did with the leeks and just pop them in if need be. Um, but that is worst case scenario. I did do a whole nother row um, of parsnips. So fingers crossed we will get some. Um but yeah everything else it's not looking too bad i've done another set of um beetroot as well at home four different types that i've got seeds at, at the moment and i'm trying to decide on what ones to focus on next year so i thought well if we do all four now we can kind of see where to invest in but there are some points i really i've got a photo actually so i'll pop it in when i show you in a minute but um there are some things that are just looking absolutely gorgeous at the moment so i'll take you through but yeah i really feel like i need to knuckle down and focus now um and just try and it wasn't a great start to the season however it's never too late so we're gonna knuckle down we're gonna focus and we're gonna try and make the most of whatever is left um and see what we can do ready to plant for autumn and winter vegetables and things like that so yeah it's not over quite yet first up i just want to show you how gorgeous does the sunflower look absolutely stunning and it's so high I'll, I'll pop a little photo in if you haven't seen my Instagram, but it just looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm so pleased with it. So pleased. So um, there are loads of little ones on it as well. Um, so there's quite a few here. I've got three of these here. And um, there is another one coming up somewhere else. Um, there was one here as well, but I gave that... My friend came over on Friday, so I gave her one of those. Um... And she's pop it, potted it in her garden, which is really, really lovely. I think, yep, I've got another one coming up here. So I'll see if anyone else wants that. Or I may just leave it because it's obviously a lot younger than these ones. So I may be able to get or just use these to like harvest for flowers in the house. So that'll be really nice. But the lavender is looking absolutely gorgeous. So I just picked these up from um, B&Q. And they're just looking so lovely. Um, I can't think of what this is called, um, but I noticed it in one of my books yesterday. So um, I like to keep things like this here. 
I've got another one here as well. Um, I believe that you can use the, the leaves on them. So we're gonna keep them. Um, I did cut, there was like one done in the middle here, but given that it's the walkway, kind of need to. But yeah, everything is starting to come along now. So pleased with the, cor uh, with the pumpkins, sorry. They are, I mean, look at that. How can that not put a smile on your face? So yeah, really pleased with them. I do need to get some baby booze in. Um, otherwise, I'm, I do feel like I'm leaving it a little bit late. However, just trying to see if there's actually any fruit on these yet. Oh, they're from two separate plants. That's per Oh yes, here we go. So I can't remember exactly which one this is. I kind of, with my pumpkins, I just let them grow. Um, you'll soon figure out what variety they are. So I'm not too concerned. Um, I didn't put as many in here um, this year just because last year they took up so much room. Um, so I just need to start kind of like moving them around a little bit so they don't all go into into one. Um, the courgettes did survive. These are the ones I picked up from a my local garden center because the ones i kept planting just kept dying so uh, well they didn't die they kept getting eaten by slugs so i managed to pick these up for a pound each which can't complain so it's always good and then it's things like this i've weeded well i've tidied up so i took a lot of the grass out i'm gonna go around again today and take up these little bits now that you can kind of see them it kind of looks empty doesn't it when you tidy it for the first round and um, so i'm gonna do that again i took all of the bindweed out of here there was so much in here so i took all of them that out tried to take as much as i could out of here as well um so that's good and as you can see, the Brussels have taken a little bit of a beating. I did have these on top. So I'm gonna, um, today, just put some of the scaffolding netting over the top of them now. But like I mentioned, at the moment, I've got one, two, and that's it. So um, I am a little bit concerned, however, We've got the back up at home. I'm just trying to take the bindweed out as I go as well. Um, maybe that's what I'm doing. Maybe I'm disturbing the soil too much by taking the bindweed out, but I don't know really. But I'm actually pleased with how much the sweet corn have grown as well, because I was getting a little bit concerned. Um, today as well, I'm gonna leave this in because do you know what, it's not doing any bother at the moment. Um, but the popping corn is doing very well and I just need to tidy up this section as well. Um, and I harvested a little bit of rhubarb to take home with me. Next up is this bed. I just wanna get it a little bit more tidy um, because everything's gonna, start to come through soon um i put in another set of peas and as you can see they're starting to come through so before they get too big and i can't really reach in here we're going to take all of this out today um i've also i don't know what to do with this because i thought it had died um as you can see however i did notice yesterday don't know if it will focus now it's starting to actually get fruit up. So I don't really know what to do. I do think I will just take it out. I'm thinking of putting this other green zebra in because this is still alive and it's still looking good. And the one, that, the other one that I put in is doing pretty well. I have also got these ones. So I can always put in two maybe, one at this corner and one at that corner and just have them going up that way. Um, I'm not quite sure, but the rest of the beans are doing well. Even if I don't get any fruit on them, I just think they look really pretty. So um, I just need to tidy up that bit. And then I've got some carrots. They're all coming up over the other side. Let me quickly show you that. Oh, this is the brassica bed, by the way. How much better does that look than it's looked in the past? Um, and I've got a lot of beetroot coming up. Hopefully you'll be able to see through the netting. There. Love it. Um, and then the carrots, this is my kind of like second sowing. So yeah, pleased with those. Some of it is grass, 
So I believe, like, where are they? So this, I believe is a carrot. And this, oh, is grass. So I just need to, I might just wait for it to grow a little bit more before I start pulling things. Or I did put this stick in just as a guideline. So what I'm thinking is, is just carry on doing this side um, because I'm gonna just keep succession growing this bed of carrots. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this and then next lot, I'm gonna do this side. And then we're gonna go back to here and then go back to this side. And hopefully that will just stop some of the soil being disturbed when I when I pull them. And then my pride and joy, look at it. It is just absolutely stunning. So this is, I believe, a good thing for it to be doing is sending up these shoots. When I spoke to Philip last, he said that's what you want. So I believe this is what's gonna be nice and strong. Um, like the nice and strong ones and these are kind of like all the older ones that maybe i didn't trim down properly before but oh, i just absolutely love them they are just so pretty so this is the absent friend oh i don't know what that is on there but really really happy with them we've got eyes on you we've got the um I think it's called the orange lady and then my meteors are starting to come up as well um if it will focus don't know what happened with that one but yeah gorgeous so i might actually cut some of these and take them home with me today um we'll see we'll see um but everything else is kind of just coming along as it was really the apples are getting nice and big um the fig tree is doing really well i'm really pleased with that um i was concerned because it hasn't obviously been that warm consistently this year i was a little bit concerned but and then all of the sweet peas i should be getting so many peas soon as well um as you can see loads on this side as well so yeah i'm really pleased with those i may pick these onions as well that i planted in just as a backup um but we'll see we'll see and then the last thing i wanted to show you was the plum tree i actually picked so many of these yesterday because as you can see they're just falling everywhere i've changed the video format just so you can see like kind of the extent of it but there are just so many so i gave some to um one of the other ladies here yesterday um i'm trying something out with putting a bag over them because as soon as they're ripe they just fall straight to the ground so i'm trying to see if i do this maybe it might catch a few of them we're doing a test i'm doing another set over there as well um but yeah they just look great so my neighbors had some someone else from the allotment site had some i've got some i'm gonna pick some for my mum. um i won't do hers until i'm gonna see her next um but there's someone else here today as well so i'll pick some for them um and see if they want them but yeah so many this actually comes in from the train station like the train line um which is really great because it means i don't have to use any of mine um and it means that I just love to share it with other people from the allotment as well. Just, it feels like almost like a community thing. So yeah, you can just see them all. I don't know, just hanging around. So yeah, love it. Okay, so I'm gonna start on this bed because this is the one, the one I didn't have time for yesterday. So I'm gonna take out all the bindweed first. Um, and then I'm just gonna take out like these little bits through here and then we can get the tomato in. Um, what I'm thinking about doing is using that big pot for one of the fruit. Um, I understand people keep saying,
it's starting to rain so i need to um hurry my butt up however that's looking much better already and i'm gonna keep the nettles here um just because i don't see nettles as a weed so we're gonna keep them and i'm also gonna keep this because i'm hoping that i could possibly create a bed of dandelions or just like an area of dandelions um so i can use the root so i'm gonna keep this to try and hopefully get some of the seeds Um, you, so usually I would put in fresh compost with it. However, as I only recently did that with this, I haven't bothered. I've just kind of put in what I took out. Um, what I am going to try and do is, because this is still alive and the roots are looking pretty good, um, I'm actually going to put this into one of my old rose pots because they're actually really long. And I'm going to see, it probably will do nothing. However, I'm going to see if we can bring it back to life maybe. But just quickly now, I'm going to put, I think what I'm going to do is, this one, I think really needs to go into a pot. Um, just into something bigger, or maybe this one. So, um, yeah, I think, I think this one. I think I'm going to put this um, in. So, let me bring the pot down. Perfect, so tomato is in and I want to say these are gooseberries in as well. So it's in a pretty big pot to be fair and I mean it's been thriving in the smaller ones so can't really complain. Um, but yeah that's all good. So what I want to do now is I want to get the tomato in the pot before I forget to do that and then I leave it too late and it's got no chance like I always do. But not anymore, we're focusing. So I'm going to take this aubergine now and pop it into one of these ones. I might pop it into the bigger one actually. Um, because I want the pot, it's not about the size, like the diameter of it. Um, is that what they call it? The circumference of it? Um, I should probably know. Math is my stronger point than English. Um, but I want the depth of it because I want to actually plant it in about this high up. And just see, because when I cut it, it actually has got a little bit of growth in it. So I'm hoping we can bring this back to life. Okay, it's in. And I've popped it in the polytunnel just to try and give it the best chance possible. Um, but everything in here is looking good. Obviously, this bit still needs a little bit more tidying. Um, but things are looking good. I can't really complain too much. It's got fruit on it. Um, the pepper is still coming along. Thank goodness that looks like it should get some fruit soon. Um, and everything's just kind of pottering along, shall we say. Um, I probably need to start tying these up a wee bit more. But the best ones, hopefully you can hear me okay still. The best ones are these. I mean, look at them. So these are the Anolka gherkin cucumbers. Um, really, really, really pleased with this one and how it's coming along. Um, these ones have still got like a little bit of fruit on them coming up, um, but nowhere near, I mean, this one has actually, nowhere near as big as these ones. But I did notice that I'm finally starting to get a tomato, which is exciting. Um, really pleased with that. I do just, this one has completely fallen over and I'm worried it's going to start to bend. So I may just need to quickly do something with this today before I leave. Um, otherwise, we're probably not going to have one of these. So let me get onto that now, actually.
before it happens again, I'm gonna do it on this back one because I've just snapped it. I can't believe I did that. Um, there are still some fruit on there, so we should be okay. But I'm just gonna make sure that this one is definitely secured in, um, just to this top bit, I think, just to make sure. Okay, that already makes me feel a little bit better. Um, so, yeah, please with that. I've actually got quite a few on here, I didn't realise. So I may need to build a bit of a better structure for this. Um, I'm gonna go home tonight and have a little think about it and come back tomorrow or Wednesday and see what we can do. But I have got an idea. I've just got to think about how it would actually work. I've got to say goodbye from the car because <laughs> um, it's quite noisy because they're, um, one of my neighbours is streaming. So, um, but yeah, that is going to be it for today, guys. I'm actually really, really pleased how this week's gone. Um, and I'm really pleased that I'm now in a mindset of it's not over. Like, if things haven't gone the way you've intended them to go already um or by this point it's not over there's still time to try and get things going again visit your local garden center like i picked up those courgette plants for a pound each so this is the chance to go grab some bits if you um if some things haven't grown or you just need to like fill some bits i mean i germinated peas again i thought that was kind of done but no they're still going carrots are still going like it's not over yet um and you can all also start like prepping for autumn and winter so yeah i'm really pleased that i've managed to get myself in a mindset of um don't give up like you've got this there's still plenty to do there's still plenty of options you've got this so yeah i hope if you're struggling as well that you manage to just like find a little bit of like hope in the fact that we're only in july we're only seven months into the year there's still plenty of time um uh, make sure you write down all your notes now uh while it's still fresh in the head um of maybe things that didn't work things that did work um use this as an opportunity to almost restart let's say but yeah thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of your week and fingers crossed if you're in the uk the weather holds out nicely for us. We need some sort of summer, don't we? But yeah, thanks guys. Take care. Bye.